name is JT Kent. I'm one of the developers here at Cubicle Fugitive. This video we're going to be discussing uh, resources, specifically how to add a blog post uh, to your website using the Sitefinity CMS. So let's launch the project and begin. To access blog posts, we click on content blog groups. Because a site can have more than one blog, this is the sort of the grouping page. So we must click on the blog items link to pull up a listing of blog posts. In order to create a new blog post, we click create a blog item. As with other content, the input dialog will appear. So this is my new blog post. A really great read. Grab some lower mips and text. Again, this is a rich text editor, so we can have full control over how we want text to appear. We could add hyperlinks and the like. Summary. This is sort of the snippet of information to entice your reader. By default, if no summary is added, we will take the first 200 characters or so and make that the summary. Featured item. This is if you want to make this a featured blog post. Um, perhaps it would appear on the home page or at the top of your blog listing page. We also have the ability to relate content, related team members, services, industries, add an image, add a related document, and have full control of the meta tags. Um, those will be explained in greater detail in other videos, but we'll quickly add some relationships. Search for a person choose some services, an industry, we'll add a photo, an existing one, we'll choose some railway tracks, no documents, no SEO title, and we'll hit save as draft. Once you've saved as draft, you, will now, have the, you now have the ability to preview this blog post before you make it live to the public. rendering the page. So this is my new blog post, the photo, um, the subtitle, the main content, some of the um, styling that we added, the related team member, um, typically that's the author as well, um, the related industries, and I'm going to close the preview down. We also have the, have the ability to add categories and tags to this, so we will add Top level category and some tags. Tag one, we'll add. We could select from existing tags. So perhaps we would have chosen this one, tag one. And again, I'll hit save as draft. We'll re preview this page. And now we'll see that we've added um, the category. This is sort of a subgrouping of blogs to sort of categorize similar blog posts and allow users to click on that link and sort and search relevant uh, associated blog posts and we'll also have added the tags here sort of a keyword um, tag similar to a category whereby you can associate unique blog posts with one another close down the preview um, as with all content we can future publish it by clicking the um, publish and unpublish on a specific date or we could backdate this one so I'll backdate this one to Sunday I'll hit save Hitting save is similar to hitting publish, so you'll see that this has now been published. Um, pulling up the blog listing. So now is our new blog post posted in top level category. Um, subtitle, clicking the read more button will bring up the now published listing page and all intro linkages have been coded. So clicking on the author would bring us to his bio and the reciprocal link um, back to the main blog listing in here. There's that summary text that we inputted. And that's how we add a blog post through the Sitefinity CMS.